You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about the WNBA and Brittany Griner. As you guys know, Brittany Griner got her detention extended another month over in Russia. As you guys know, in February, she was arrested and put into incarceration for trying to get vape cartridges actually through a, a Russian airport. Big no, no over there. And she's facing something upwards of 10 years in prison. Well, guys, I've done a video in the past on uh, Brittany Griner and the WNBA where the WNBA uh, PA president came out and said it was basically she was in jail because of a gender pay issue, which is completely ridiculous. So now flash forward to today and the WNBA has now signed a petition, folks, calling for Brittany Griner's swift and safe return from Russia. And not only that, guys, they actually now have bed Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to do something about it. To get her home. Yeah. We'll get into Joe Biden here. But uh, check this out here. Let's read some of this. The WNBA Players Association. Has joined. An already established change.org petition. In demanding that lawmakers. Prioritize. Brittany Griner's. Safe return home. Yeah. Prioritize her. When inflation is out of control. When there's uh, no baby food on the shelves, when gas prices have run them up, but they want to prioritize Brittany Griner, who was actually on tape in Russia, allegedly trying to traffic drugs. Tamron uh, Spurgeon, a journalist and author, began the secure Brittany Griner swift and safe return to the U.S. petition in March after news broke that Griner was detained in Moscow. The WNBA PA signed on over the weekend. Check this out. This is ridiculous here, folks. Pay inequity has led to Brittany Griner's wrongful dis detention in Russia. There it go again. Pay inequity. Ladies and gentlemen, what kind of pay inequity exists when it comes to the WNBA? The WNBA makes no money. They lose money. Are they saying that um, women in the WNBA should be paid the same as the men in the NBA? If they do, that's completely ridiculous. Now, Brittany Griner gets, uh, I believe, something like uh, two hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars a year in the WNBA. But they don't make any money. I don't see where there is pay in equity. But anyway, furthermore, it's, it goes on. It says, uh, quote, furthermore, as a decorated Olympian and member of an elite global sports community, Brittany's detention must be resolved out of respect for the safety of all athletes traveling to compete internationally and the sanctity of the sport. Well, nobody told Brittany Griner to go and play in Russia. She decided to do that. It has nothing to do with pay inequity. If she couldn't live on $227,000 a year, that's her problem. It's her problem. It goes on. It is imperative that the U S government immediately address this human rights issue and do whatever is necessary to return Brittany home quickly and safely. And it goes on down here at the bottom. Check this out. White House and Biden administration. We ask that you take action today doing whatever is necessary to bring Brittany Griner home swiftly and safely. The petition reads. Now, I don't know if uh, Joe Biden is actually um, mentioned anything about Brittany Griner. This man has a lot of other issues he should be dealing with because he is destroying this country. The Brittany Griner situation, guys, if they're expecting Joe Biden to actually succeed in getting uh, Brittany Griner back home from Russia. They may not know that uh, Joe Biden is not very well respected over there in Russia. The whole Ukrainian invasion probably happened because uh, Putin really has no fear of, jo of Joe Biden whatsoever. But that's another story. I digress right there. But what do you guys think of the WNBA petitioning that uh, Brittany Griner gets sent home and that the U.S. government prioritize her getting home? 
I found that really hilarious right there. And what do you guys think of the WNBA once again saying that it is pay in equity is the reason why she is in a Russian jail cell right now. This is utterly ridiculous, guys, completely ridiculous that the WNBA is still playing this pay and equity thing. And I, I fully believe that Joe Biden won't do anything. I, I really don't. Now, Rhodes already did a video where um, allegedly Russia wants this uh, merchant of death traded to actually release Brittany Griner. That would be a big mistake right there. First of all, what if Brittany Griner is actually um, really guilty of this? Now, here in the United States, we believe in uh, innocent until proven guilty. I don't know about Russia, but they did release footage of Brittany Griner when she was actually uh, getting searched in the airport. You take that for what it is. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. The WNBA still spreading lies about pay and equity and demanding that a Joe Biden who doesn't even know where he is half the time. And Kamala Harris, a member, folks, the WNBA wanted you to vote for these people. And guess what? Joe Biden, he's not going to do anything. He's not going to do anything. Remember, Joe Biden was all about Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. And when he got into the Oval Office, guess what? Black Lives Matter actually wanted to talk to him. And guess what? Joe Biden never returned the calls. Think about that. You got played WNBA. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.